Before we start the hairstyles, I of course need to start brushing my hair because it gets a little crazy. And then I'm adding some dry shampoo like I usually do for some texture and volume and then we can get started with hairstyle number one. So first I'm making a center part all the way down to the back of my head with a comb and tying up each side into a high ponytail until I look like baby spice. Next I'm going to wrap these ponytails up into little buns but I'm leaving a chunk of hair out on each side. And once I bobby pin my buns together, I'm braiding that chunk of hair that I left out, wrapping that around the bun, and bobby pinning that at the back. And voila, the braided space buns. Hairstyle number two is inspired by the one and only Aspen Ovard. I'm just pulling my hair all the way to one side and then putting it into a braid, but I'm facing the braid upwards so that I can pull it over the top of my head, pin it on the other side, and now I have a braid crown. And after I bobby pinned the braid down on the side, I just kind of tucked it underneath the rest of my hair so that you couldn't notice. Then I just pulled out a few baby hairs in the front and that's it. Hairstyle number three begins with a side part. And I'm just French braiding down to the side so I have a little headband. And then once I get to my ear, just continuing down with a regular braid and securing with an elastic. And the trick to this one is tugging at the braid when you're done and just giving it a ton of volume and making it so magical so you look like a princess. Hairstyle number four begins with a big flower crown because I just think this one is the cutest with a big headband. So I'm splitting my hair into two sections and then creating a fishtail braid on each side. And this was actually my first time trying a fishtail braid, so the way you do it is you pull your hair into two sections, then you take a small piece of hair from one side and pull it underneath to the other side. And I guess this is technically an inverted Dutch fishtail braid because it's going upside down from the usual. And when I was done, I tied them with an elastic, tugged at the braids to give them more volume, and then you can show off your sweet dance moves because you have the cutest hairstyle ever. Hairstyle number five is a little edgy. So I started with a side part and then on the left side of my head, I split up my hair into three sections and braided each of those sections into small braids and tied each off with an elastic. Then I just pushed all my hair over to the right side so that I could secure these three braids to the back of my head with a bobby pin. And now you have this hidden braid hairstyle that's so edgy and I think it's super cool. Now for hairstyle number six. So first I sectioned off the top half of my hair and I tied the bottom half in a little bun so it's out of my way. Then I started at the very front of my head and French braided that top section of hair and then put it into an elastic. And I just tugged at the braid and tightened the elastic and gave it a little more volume and made it extra spunky. This one is just such a fun spin on the normal half up, half down pony. Hairstyle number seven is definitely one of my favorites too because you guys know I rock that Cinnabon line. So I just threw my hair into a super high pony and then divided that into three sections and braided each section and tugged at them so they're extra thick. Then I wrapped each braid around one by one and bobby pinned them to my head and made the prettiest bun that looks so elaborate but really it was super simple to do. Now for hairstyle number eight, which I told you guys is my favorite of this whole video. This is very similar to the French braid headband, but this time we are doing a rope braid. 
So I'm splitting my hair into two sections instead of three like you would for a normal braid. And I'm basically twisting these two sections around each other, but each time I twist the front over to the back, I'm grabbing extra hair in the front of my head and pulling that over to the back. And once I get to the base of my head, I can no longer do the French rope braid, so now I just need to do a regular rope braid down to the bottom. And to do this, there's a little trick. Twist both pieces of hair counterclockwise, and then twist those two sections of hair around each other clockwise. And then you just need to tie an elastic at the bottom and give it a little tug so it's a little looser. I love this one because it's just so unique and different from any other braid I've seen. And everyone is going to be asking you how you did it because it's so pretty. Hairstyle number nine is a classic all over Tumblr. So I pulled the top half of my hair up into a bun just to get it out of my way so that I could work with the bottom half. And then this part was really difficult to film because I was bent over and braiding upside down. So I basically French braided my hair from the bottom up to the top and pulled all of my hair together and then wrapped that around into a pretty bun. You guys know I had to have a bow in this video. So I clipped this hair bow right at the bottom of my bun and at the top of the French braid and I think it is so cute. And lastly, hairstyle number 10. I had to go all out for this one. So these are ombre rainbow Dutch braids inspired by Kylie Jenner's look at Coachella this year. And I actually did a whole video tutorial on this look. So definitely check that out. I'll have it linked below if you haven't seen it yet. Thank you babes so much for watching this video. I hope you loved it. I hope you are now inspired to just get going. <laughs> Go out there and take your hairstyles to the next level. If this is your first time on my channel, then leave a comment below telling me so I can welcome you. And of course, I would love to chat with you guys and get to know you better, so make sure to follow my social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and we can be BFFs. I love you babes from the bottom of my heart, and I will see you in my next video. Yeah. Stay with